hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse slipper if this is your first time here I am a full-time reseller primarily on eBay but I also sell on Poshmark Mercari and Etsy and here lately I've also been selling on whatnot so I'm going to talk a little bit about and compare the platforms and quite a few of you have been asking me about selling on whatnot so i'm going to talk about that a little bit and i'm going to show you what sold so we do have a thousand dollars going out today on ebay which is actually only about half of what we were having we were having about two thousand a weekend go out so it is slow but it's still a great amount of sales and i'm going to show you everything that sold right now All right, so up first is actually a nutcracker. Christmas is coming, don't forget that. This is a really cool nutcracker with his ax and he does, here's where you would crack the nuts. He is marked, made in China. Really nice, 14 inch. He sold for $20.47, plus a buyer paid 11 shipping. He only took about a month to sell, so he sold pretty fast. I'm only a dollar in, so he is about a $14 profit. Up next is this heavy thing. This is a Coleman cart cat. So if you see stuff that you're not sure what it is, check it out, that's what this was. So if you see here, this is a heater that will attach to a propane tank and it attaches on golf carts to keep the golf carts warm in the winter. So that one I paid $20 for. It sold for a best offer of $50, took about three months to sell. So it's about a $20 profit. I will tell you this buyer was sending me low offers because they said shipping was so high, but I do calculated shipping. So they probably live far away from me and they said this is why i'm sending you a low offer and i have gotten quite a few of those lately like your shipping is so high that's why i'm sending you this low offer and my reply and my reply typically is i do not make money on shipping it is calculated by the weight of the item from my zip code to yours so perhaps you live far away from me and maybe it would be better and cheaper for you to buy it from someone closer to you. Not being mean to them, but I don't make money on the shipping. And that is something I feel like the buyers have to realize. So I can't give you 50% off my item because you live in California and I live in Florida. You know, I will wait for a Florida or Georgia or North Carolina buyer to come along and purchase it because their shipping is going to be cheaper. So the buyer ended up buying it for me at what I had counter offered them and I got the sale. But don't feel bad about shipping. The cost of shipping is what it is and that is not our fault we are not the government we do not regulate it we do not price it and as long as you're not severely marking up and making a profit on it you should not feel bad about it up next was a really good sale this little Beatrix Potter mouse and he is marked Royal Albert Johnny Town Mouse he is from 1989 he sold for $47 in about two months I paid five so he's about a $35 profit so watch for your Beatrix Potter stuff this one is Royal Albert it can be big money a lot of those I had a bunch of them and most of them sold for around 12 to 20 dollars but that one was a good one that's why you always want to check every single piece before you price it all right up next is a longa burger liner this one is a bread basket liner and again christmas is coming up so some of this christmas type stuff is selling i paid a dollar it sold for nine so it is about a six dollar profit and it sold in two months and then i paid too much for this i i'll show you i paid five dollars for it and it sold for ten now the reason here it is the reason I paid up is because I saw Yadro. So this is a 1988 Yadro Bell and I 
you know typically i associate yadra with higher dollar items so when i saw it for five i just picked it up and it's actually going to be a dollar to two dollar profit and it took about six months to sell so be careful buying things of certain names not every item of a particular brand is going to be worth a lot of money make sure you do your comps and then this little white house black market which i found to be a steady brand not high dollar this one sold for 10 i paid less than a dollar so it's about a seven dollar profit sold in under a month so sold pretty fast and they have jewelry they have clothing there are a bunch of different things and the white house black market has done okay for me and i will continue looking for them all right, the next two items I actually found in the bins at South Carolina when I went to the prison to profit convention. I highly recommend if you have a Goodwill outlet, AKA the bins near you, go check it out because you can find some good stuff. I got this Victoria's Secret pink little zip up hoodie. It is a size large. It's got the spell out on the sleeve. Paid less than a dollar at the bins. It sold in under a month for $16.24. So it's about a $14 profit and it sold very fast. And then this was also in the bins. And Eric, OBX Picker, handed me this. This is a little quilted piece. I don't know if this is a table runner or a scarf or I don't know. But it is handmade with the squares so i put table runner scarf centerpiece i put a bunch of keywords and it sold in under two weeks and it sold for 19.49 i paid again under a dollar for that at the bins and it is about a 15 dollar profit next is some jeans i picked up at a thrift store for only a dollar these are wrangler they are fleece lined i actually have another pair these are size 40 I paid a dollar at a little local thrift store. They took almost a year to sell. They sold for $20, so they will be about a $14 profit. All right, up next, this is a really cool item. It's actually a gas attendant vintage hat. It says Wolf's Head Motor Oil. I paid $5 for this. It sold for $20 in about three months, so it's gonna be about a $13 profit. The buyer did pay shipping. And then a tomahawk <laughs> really cool tomahawk one of my viewers sent me this in a box so i actually am zero into it i paid shipping but shipping was not much and this one sold for thirty dollars and eighty cents and it will be about a 22 to 23 dollar profit and then i tell you all the time look at the linens and get them so these are some Christmas cloth napkins. You can see the drum. There's some holly there, um, a little horn. This is 10 cloth napkins. I paid $2 for them. They sold for $32.48 and a little under two months. They are over $25 profit. And those are super easy to list and ship. So check the linens. If you think you can keyboard it well, if it's made nice, I would pick it up yet another example this is a i love you cross stitch vintage pillowcase one pillowcase i paid a dollar for it it sold for eleven dollars plus the buyer paid five in shipping so this one's going to be about an eight dollar profit and it sold in about three months this next one took almost two years to sell it is a little mobile county high school patch and it sold for two dollars so this lot of patches was probably not the best and i got this a while ago and yeah we all make buying mistakes that was one of mine still about a dollar profit glad it is sold there still are patches in that drawer that have been listed that long as well this next one is impressive so i only paid two dollars for this pillow it is a santa claus needlepoint it does have the red velvet on the back paid two dollars at goodwill and it sold for 45 dollars and 48 cents it did take about four months but this is over a 35 dollar profit and really easy to list and ship 
up next these are tuscany lead crystal little tulip candlestick holders picked them up for a couple dollars these sold for 16 dollars 23 cents i did identify them using google lens for the pair they're only about a ten dollar profit so this is something in the future i probably would stay away from just because it's breakable and ten dollars profit isn't necessarily worth the headache of packing a breakable and then a license plate this license plate sold for $9.99. I paid a dollar, took about three months to sell, so it's gonna be about an $8 profit. These next ones are a pretty good sale. So these are Bormioli. This is a purple kind of amethyst glass. There were two of the tall tumblers and two short. So I was thrifting up in Cincinnati with Jimmy Old School Flips and his wife Sonia, and we found those for only a dollar each. So I'm about $4 in, they sold for 40 so they are about a $30 profit, but they took about a year to sell. So they did take a little bit longer, but that is a decent profit on those glasses. All right, so my daughter has been listing a lot of Elvis stuff lately. So you will see some Elvis in this video. I bought a big tote with a lot of Elvis stuff. So first up, this one is one for the money. This one I paid about five. It sold for $16.24. So it's about an $8 profit sold in under a month. And then this little scarf handkerchief. This one sold for $8.77. I am less than a dollar in. It's gonna be about a $6 profit sold in under a month. And then some more Elvis, same lot, about $5 in. This one is new in box, does have the seal of authenticity. This one I paid five, it sold for $19.49. So it's about a $12 profit and it sold in under a month. This next one is kind of crazy. I wasn't sure it would ever sell, but I listed it anyways. It's a moose, and I think it's a moose candle. So it's a wax moose. And the crazy thing is the person that sent me an offer on this moose said they have its mate. They have the exact moose. So this moose I paid about $3 for in a lot. He sold for 18, he's about a $10 profit, and I'm glad he's going to his mate. I think that's kind of cool. I didn't know there were any more of him in existence, but somebody has one and they got this one as well. And then, beautiful Murano Latticino. You can see the twisted there. This beautiful art glass bowl sold for $51.47. Took about eight months to sell. I only paid five, so this one's about a $40 profit, but it did take quite a while to sell. And then, this one is going out to Miss Kathleen. It is a Viva Las Vegas, so you can see the hotel sign, the casino sign, it's got Elvis. This is going out to Miss Kathleen. She got it for $23.39. I paid five, so it's about a $14 profit. And then this Michigan license plate sold for $12.98. Again, a dollar in. This one is about a $9 profit, sold in about three months. All right, up next, I want to point out to you guys, this is just a little, really cute little Christmas ornament. So I recommend buying lots of vintage Christmas ornaments because if you keyword them well, the profit can add up if you get them cheap. So this one I'm 50 cents in, it sold for 10. So it's about a $7 profit. But if you get like 100 little ornaments for $20, you're 20 cents in, that $8, $8 adds up to like an $800 profit on a box of ornaments. So watch for the vintage ornaments, especially little cute ones. They will sell mostly in the $10 to $20 range, but right now with Christmas coming up, those would be really good store fillers if you need more inventory. And then we got a little bike plate. This is a little motorcycle plate, Indiana. This one sold for $9.74. So this one will be about a $7 profit, sold in about three months. All right, up next is this cute little tin, gingerbread snips. I got this in a lot, so I'm actually about 50 cents in. It sold for $7.79, so it is about a $5 profit, and it sold in about three months. And then these cute little shelf sitters were actually in the same lot. Um, they were in a dresser lot, and these two little guys sold for $8.77, about 50 cent in again. So they're about a $6 profit, and they sold in about a month, pretty, pretty fast on these. 
And then I got these at Goodwill for 50 cents each. There are six of them. So I paid $3. They sold for 15 and they took about three months. They're about a $10 profit. They are melamine, uh, really, really thick plastic. And then Elvis teddy bear sold for 15. I'm just going to show you guys these real quick. This one is can't help falling in love and then return to sender. So all to the same buyer, $15 each. I paid five. So for the three of these, it's about a $20 profit and they sold in under a month. All right, last up for eBay, and then we'll draw the winner of the free month of List Perfectly contest, and then I'll show you what sold on the other platforms and let you guys know what I have coming up this week, as well as talk a little bit about whatnot. So this is a Alabama long sleeve shirt. Got it for a dollar. Actually picked it up in Birmingham, Alabama, and this one sold in about four months, and it is about a $9 profit. So if you don't know, List Perfectly is the service I use to cross post to Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark. And last Monday, I had you enter to win a free month, which can be up to a $69.99 value. So let's go ahead and draw the winner now. Okay, let's see who wins. So we have 268 entries for a free month of List Perfectly. Let's see who won. Junkin' for fun, you won. You have seven days to email me, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com, and I we will get you a free month of list perfectly. And let's go ahead and see what I sold this weekend using list perfectly. All right, congrats again to the winner. Now, this is my only Poshmark sale. This is a really cool doorstop. So to put in, keep the door from closing, little chickadee. This one sold on Poshmark for 21. I'm about $3 in. So this one's about a $13 profit on Poshmark. And then we only had one sale on Mercari, but it was a good one. This 1951 Georgia plate sold for $54 over on Mercari. So this one's going to be about a $45 profit. So really, really good sale on this plate over on Mercari. All right, over on Etsy was actually two hats and both were really good sales. So this Harley Davidson camo hat sold for $40. This is being split with my friend Charlene and myself. So about $15 profit each. This one was even better. So I got this at the bins, hanging out with Eric, OBX Picker, J Crew Wool Hat, paid less than a quarter for this. And this one sold for $45 on Etsy, over a $40 profit, and it sold in under a month. Just picked this up at the Greenville, South Carolina bins. All right, so coming up this week, tomorrow night at 8 p.m., I will be live with the thrifting twins as well as yvonne thrifty rich as my two special guests julian is back so we will be having our tuesday night podcast and then on wednesday i will be a special guest for fundamentals and regina michelle on their hump day hangout show that is wednesday at 9 p.m eastern standard time i will share that out to you so you can come over and hang out with us as well and then on thursday night at 9 p.m i will be doing my next whatnot i was going to do it on wednesday but since i'm live with derek and regina i decided to move it to thursday night i am going to have more gorgeous sterling silver some new items as well as really fun costume jewelry if you haven't been watching me on whatnot i am primarily doing jewelry but i am kind of expanding out just in case some people don't want jewelry we sold some really amazing purses and handbags in the last two shows and we also sold a wall throw and i wanted to talk just for a minute to those of you who are asking me can i teach you to sell on whatnot so for me, I haven't talked much about selling on whatnot because I have a big social media following and that contributes to my success quite a bit. So I don't want to falsely lead anybody to think they will instantly do as well as I've been doing. And I have been doing amazing. I am making more money on whatnot than I am on eBay right now. 
but I know I have a social media following. Now granted, it took me three years of 40, 50, 60 hours a week to build that media following up, but I don't want you to go in, think you're automatically going to have tons of followers, tons of sales. It is just like anything else. The same thing goes for eBay. Don't compare yourself to me. I have over six thousand listings so unless you have over six thousand listings comparing yourself to me is comparing apples to oranges and whatnot is the same so i will let you know kind of a little behind the scenes on whatnot i spend three to five hours cataloging each sale before the sale starts and then the sales run two to three hours and then afterwards it takes an hour to two to ship them as well so each show has over 10 hours put into it so if i do three shows in a week that is 30 hours that i am putting in and that has detracted from my ebay that is one of the reasons that my ebay sales have went down luckily i have six thousand items and i am listing a few just not like i normally did and that's because i'm doing so great on whatnot so if you're interested in selling over there definitely give it a shot but just remember it might take you a while you got to bring good items have them at good prices have a good personality entertain the audience and just keep doing it it might take you months to a year to get a good following to where you're really making a good profit and i worry that some of you might expect to kind of instantly be making these crazy sales but that's not really what's going to happen you're going to have to put the work in whatnot is an amazing platform to buy from it's also an amazing platform to sell from you just have to remember you have to build your following if you don't already have one so it is a lot of work just like anything in reselling you have to put in tons and tons of time in order to get anything out so if you're interested in how i do it in my setup i am more than happy to let you know you can email me the nurse flipper at yahoo.com but again keep in mind i came into this with over 50,000 subscribers and i brought i brought a good following and if you don't have that it's gonna take some time for you to do it but it is amazing it's only eight percent seller fees on there which is lower than almost all the platforms and we're getting a ton of sales and i have seen multiple people who had no following build it up that are doing amazing they're probably doing better than me so it definitely can be done but i would say don't set up high expectations you need to work up to it build up your business build up your following put the work in in order to see the results so if you want help i'm happy to help you but i think one of the biggest things on whatnot is your personality being friendly being outgoing and entertaining the audience so that's not something that i can teach that's kind of something that comes naturally or that you build up as you get more used to being live so i hope this has helped again congrats to the winner of the list perfectly contest i will see you tomorrow night at eight for my live podcast wednesday at 9 p.m for the hump day hangout with regina michelle and derek fundamentals and bookmark my show on thursday at 9 p.m eastern standard time i am gonna have some great stuff for you with low starts i will see you guys in another video on friday bye for now